Hey guys, hello and welcome to another screencast from me. Um, I know I've been very inactive over the last year or so, but yeah, I'm back now and I'm back for good. Um, and um, yeah, I want to be spending a little more time with YouTube and uh, putting out uh, some regular content uh, for you guys to enjoy. So if you've been home labbing for some time now, um, you might feel a need to monitor the critical stats of the different nodes and servers that you have um, in your home lab. Or you might be a server administrator who uh, might want, want a very quick, easy way, a lightweight way um, to uh, monitor all the different services that are running and all the different servers that are running those services. So the open source app we'd be installing today, it's called Betcell works in a hub agent model. Um, so the hub receives all the data and each individual agent will be running on individual computers. Now think of Betcell as um, a one-stop shop replacement for Prometheus, Grafana, um, and a variety of other tools that we've been using as home labbers um, to visualize our different computers' um, critical statistics. So um, it's a really lightweight program and I've been using it uh, for my p personal home lab um, and I've been loving it so far. So what we'll be doing today is we'll be installing a hub on a remote server. The reason we'll be doing that is that it's always a good idea for the server that's hosting the hub can be off-site, especially on a cloud platform. So your hub will still be online even if one of your agents is offline. Let's get into it. First, open up Bessel. And you'll be able to see some semblance of what it would look like uh, once you have all your computers added. So again, the people who have been tinkering with Grafana and Prometheus to host a similar thing on their own, um, you might realize how cool this is and how much pain of configuring and reconfiguring this can save. So. What we'll do first is just head over to DigitalOcean and try and get our hub installed. Now, the other thing is we'll also be using TailScale to build this VPN, which will enable us to actually connect to computers which are on our tailnet without having to expose them to the internet. So our hub on DigitalOcean will be able to access a computer on a local network without having to exposing either one of them to the internet. We'll be exposing the Bessel Monitoring Hub to the internet, but that's a separate topic. We'll be using Cloudflare for that. So what I've just done is I have created a droplet and um, here it is. I'll choose a server that's closest to me, which is Sydney. Ubuntu 24.10 is okay. And we are fine with the tiniest of the tiny droplets. Now, how do we connect to the server? So for me, SSH key is the best option. DigitalOcean gives you a step-by-step -step guide to create an SSH key. So we'll do that. Uh, we copy this first command and paste it into our terminal, um, which will ask us to enter a name. So we'll enter Betzel Hub, for example. We also have to enter a passphrase. We'll enter a passphrase there. You just have to enter it twice, and this will spit out our random art, et cetera. So now, and see what the public key looks like, and that will spit out the our public key, and we'll name it Betzel Hub, and we'll add SSH key here and create the droplet. Now, what we want is connecting to this droplet. So we'll open up the console. The first thing we'll do, as I said, we'll install TailScale. Um, in my tailnet, I'll add another device. TailScale gives you a one line command to install and configure TailScale um, in a particular machine. So I'll just select Linux server. Um, I don't want to tag um, anything and we'll say maybe two days auth key expiration and that way we'll generate the install script we'll go back into our terminal 
and paste that install script here. So Tailscale has been installed, and uh, if we go back to all machines, I will see that my um, digital ocean droplet has been added. The next thing is obviously we don't want to be working in this finicky web console. We'll just um, close this out. Um, and I will use a program called web SSH. Again, a brilliant program. The best thing I like is it, it can sync between all my Apple devices, be it desktop or iPad or my mobile phone. So I can have all my SSH servers in one single place. So what I'll do is I will add a new server and I'll call it DigitalOcean. That's it. Now, the host, I can just copy uh, my tail and IP address. Um, I just want access to SSH. We will import a private key. There is my private key, Bezel Hub. And I would use the Bezel Hub private key here. Uh, for the user, if we go into a digital ocean droplet and we go into access, we'll see we can log in as root. So what we'll say is log in as root. So we don't need a password and we don't need anything else. So that gives us access to the ocean droplet. Um, we have to enter the password that we just created for our private key. And that way we are connected. First thing we want to be doing is installing Docker. So I have this one line script, um, which will help us to just that. So what is it doing? It's basically performing an update at the very beginning. And then uh, Docker has this one line script that you can get um, from get.docker.com. It's basically executing that script. Um, then it's adding the root user uh, to the Docker group. And then it's installing a bunch of things um, like SSL and Python. And then it's using to install Docker Compose and then it's creating a service for Docker, and then it's running the Hello World Docker container. We'll wait for that script to run. Now, create a directory called Betzel Hub. Um, we will cd into that directory. And we'll create docker compose dot yaml. Now I have created a little docker compose for us, which I will paste into here. It's pulling out the image. It's also stating the restart policy. It's mapping the ports and it's creating Betzel data inside this Betzel hub folder and it's mapping it to Betzel data. And we will save this. Now, if we say docker compose up, which will pull the latest bed cell binary and it will start serving this on um, port 8090. So while this is running, we will go into our browser and then we can obviously copy our magic DNS address here. And we say we want to go port 80. Nine zero, and there you go. You have your Bedcell Hub instance running. So um, what we need to do first is create um, an account, and I'll do just that. We'll use an email. Um, we'll use a super insecure password, and I'll be deleting all of this anyway. Okay, okay, fair enough, Bedcell. We'll create an account. Now, this is the dashboard, and people among you who has worked with Prometheus and Grafana and setting all of this up by yourself, you'll appreciate immediately, even though there are no systems added, at how much simplified this whole interface is. And I'm sure already things are firing in your head that how best you will be able to use this particular um, setup. So now um, on on my Mac, I am going to be installing the agent. To do that, what we will do is uh, we'll need to download a, uh, the binary from Betzel's GitHub repo. Um, so for that, we'll go back to the getting started page. And if 
we go to agent installation and on this menu if I go down to binary um, I'll see an option to manually download and start um, the binary. So here I'll see a lot of releases for different Unix systems. So for me it's Darwin ARM64. I'll copy the link address and now back in the terminal I'll create a directory called um, Bessel agent and I'll enter the directory. Um, now here I have a one-line command um, that I help paste here um, and obviously this will be in the git repo for this um, tutorial as well. So the, the location where it says URL, you just paste the URL that you just copied and then where it says key, we have to paste the SSH key. If I go back into our bezel dashboard, um, I have this option to add system. Now for an agent, you can uh, choose to run an agent uh, via a Docker container or a binary. In this case, we are obviously running this as a binary. So we'll go in here and name our computer Mac or maybe PyMac. Don't judge me, I um, use Greek numerals to name my computers. So that's more like it. We also need to provide a host or IP. So if I go into my tailnet, PyMac is connected here as well. So I'll, I copy the IP for PyMac and go back into the dashboard and paste it here. I'll just go into binaries and um, copy the SSH key. Now, Bezel also provides the single line Linux command, which you can try running. Back into my terminal, I will paste in my SSH key. That is basically it. So as soon as I run this particular command, uh, what it should do is run the Bezel agent uh, with the necessary configs at the required port. So I just wait for it to execute and here you see that it is running at port 45876, which is exactly what we need. Back in our dashboard, if we go and just click add system, you'll see the PyMac system is added here. If I go in, I will be able to see a very handy overview of what's up with our system. So this our system is obviously up. Um, this is the IP we are connected to. Uh, this is our system host name, um, uptime, the kernel version, and the SOC. So that is basically Bezel. So what we have done here is we've created DigitalOcean Droplet, um, and we have created a Docker container there to run Bezel Hub. We've also installed TailScale there so that the droplet running the Bezel Hub is part of our tailnet, which gives us easy access to all the other computers. We have also installed TailScale on our local computer and we have installed Bezel Agent on our local computer, then added um, the Bezel Agent um, into our Bezel Hub dashboard. So you can do pretty much the same thing with all your other computers and servers. Now, Bezel doesn't provide official Windows binary. So it's a good idea to run the bezel agent on Windows as a Docker container, or there are some resources on the internet where we will find how to compile a binary for Windows and run it as a service on Windows. Once we've done that, if I go back into my digital ocean droplet, the keen eyed amongst you might have noticed um, that in my Docker compose file, there is a section for Cloudflare as well. Why is that? Now, with Cloudflare, what we'll essentially be able to do is expose this hub to the internet. If you're not familiar with Cloudflare Zero Trust Tunnels, check that out. It will be a very good uh, time investment you'll make for your home lab. And once you've had your account configured, etc., you can uncomment these lines to 
start a Cloudflare instance, you'll need the tunnel token uh, and you'll need to paste it here. And once you've done that, you can Docker Compose up again, which will start both the Bezel container and the Cloudflare container, which will basically enable you to reverse proxy your Bezel instance and expose it to the public internet. And I'll quickly show you how that looks like. So my personal Bezel Hub is hosted on the internet. I have a couple of computers added to my Bezel configuration. And you'll see here all the critical statistics is being monitored in near real time here. So back to our Bezel installation, if um, I go into settings, there is a notifications area here where by default, the notifications would be sent to the email address, but you can also uh, run a Shoutar uh, instance to push these notifications back via WebSocket to Telegram, Discord, etc. We're not covering that in this video, but let me know down in the comments below if you want to have a video on that as well. So back to our dashboard, again, I can um, grid view it as well. This is where I can turn on notifications. If I go there, I can do things like status notification. Uh, if the CPU usage is higher than 80% for 10 minutes or whatever, um, if the memory usage is higher than 80% for 10 minutes, you know, you, you, you get the point. And you also get how much of an effort this would have been if you had to do it through things like Prometheus and Profana. Obviously, you'd have very fine grain control there, but the amount of hours you'd have to spend to build out this custom dashboard, I feel um, would be a huge time sink where you have something like Bezel available to you. So this brings us to the end of this screencast. Um, as you saw, I have been using Bezel to monitor my personal servers and computers for some time now, and it has been a breeze. It has been a breeze. So go ahead and install Bezel for yourself. Um, I'm sure if you're a keen home labber like me, you will have a need to monitor all your different servers and computers that you're running, and you'll find Bezel very helpful. That brings us to the end of this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw, and if you haven't already, Hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications to see all the exciting content I have planned for you. This is Ukumuni signing off. Thank you.